because today is Tuesday, the day we learn new Spanish vocabulary. So today is the first in a uh, series of false cognate videos that we're going to be doing. So a false cognate is just a word that looks like it should be something similar in another language, but it actually is not. It's a false cognate. So for example, uh, largo, the word largo in Espanol. Largo looks like it should be the word large, but it is not. We know that the word large or big is grande. So instead, largo means long. So that's the first of the false cognates that we have for today's video. The second one is cuestión. Cuestión. So this word looks like it should be the word question, but it's not. This word cuestión means matter, as in, it's a matter of great importance. The word question, as in I'm asking you a question, is pregunta. Pregunta. So write that down in your notebook if you have one handy. And the next word is colegio. Colegio. This word looks like it should be the word college, but it's not. This word means high school. Colegio means high school. So what is the word for college or university? Well, it's very similar to the word university in English. Universidad. Universidad. Okay, next word is introducir. Introducir does not mean to introduce in the typical sense. It actually means to insert. So in the way that you insert money into a ATM, and the real word for introduce, as in I introduce you to this person, is presentar. Presentar. So in, in essence, you're saying I present you to this person. Te presento a eh, Maria. Okay, next word is tuna. It looks like it should be tuna, right? like tuna fish, like out of a can, like star kiss. It's not. This word actually means prickly pear. It's like a little like cactus. But uh, what is the word for tuna, the fish? And that word is atun. Atun with an accent mark on the U, atun. And the last word that we're gonna do for today is recordar, recordar. And this word looks like it is record to record, uh, but it's not. It actually means to remember, uh, as in uh, I remember that whatever. And what's the word for to record? That word is grabar, grabar, G-R-A-B-A-R. Now I've, when I come to think about it, grabar looks like it should be to grab, but it's not, it means to record. Éxito, éxito. This word looks like it should be the word exit, but it's not. This word means success. So what is the word for exit? The word is salida, salida. Next word is embarazada. Embarazada. So this is a very typically talk about, talked about false cognate uh, because if you use one or the other, you might uh, be saying the wrong thing. So the word is embarazada. Embarazada. And this one looks like it should be the word embarrassed, but it is not. This word means pregnant, so it's very important to use the correct word here, avergonzado. Avergonzado for embarrassed instead of saying that you are embarazada. Okay, the next word is Asistir. Well, this one is kind of a triangle of words. So the word asistir looks like it should be the word to assist, but it's not. The word asistir means to attend, as in I attend class. Yo asisto a la clase. Um, the word to to help or to assist in English would be ayudar. So ayudar actually means to assist or to help somebody. Ayudar. And then uh, the what is the word atender? So we already said to attend a class was asistir. So what is atender? Atender means to uh, attend to a person, as in to um, maybe you're a waitress and you're attending to that person. And there's two more words here we've got. Carpeta. Carpeta looks like it should be the word carpet, but it's not. Carpeta means folder. And the real word for carpet is alfombra. Alfombra. Uh, and the last word is paso. Vaso. Uh, and this word means glass, not vase. The word for vase is florero. Pariente. The word pariente looks like it should mean parent, but it doesn't. Padres means parents. Padres means parents. Uh, pariente means relative. The second word is realizar. Realizar looks like it should mean to realize, but realizar actually means to achieve, like to achieve your dreams, uh, to finally reach those goals type thing. Uh, realizar means to achieve. What is the real word for to realize? Darse cuenta. Darse cuenta. Next word is receta. Receta. 
This word looks like it should be receipt, but it's not. Receta means recipe. And the real word for receipt is recibo. Recibo. Uh, next word is sopa. Sopa looks like it should be soap, but it's soup. It's soup. The word for soap is jabón. Jabón. J-A-B-O-N. Jabón. Uh, and the last word is soportar. Soportar. This word looks like it should be to support, but it is not. This one means like to stand, as in not to stand up, but as in I really can't stand that guy. And the real word for to support is apoyar. Apoyar. Fabrica looks like it should mean fabric, right? But it actually means factory. The word for fabric or cloth is tela. Tela. All right, the second word is gracioso. Gracioso looks like it should mean gracious, but it doesn't. This word means funny. What's the real word for gracious? It is agraciado. Agraciado. Next word is the word pan. This one, it doesn't mean pan. It means bread. Uh, the word for pan would be sartén. Sartén. Okay, next word is pretender. Pretender. This one looks like it should be to pretend, but it's not. This one actually means to try. Uh, so, yo pretendo a, a, a correr. I try to run. Um, but the real word for to pretend is fingir. Fingir. And that's all the words for today.